Good morning, good evening. My name is Zaista. I will be presenting a talk VS Code is better than Emacs, or is it? In this talk, I hope to provide few ideas how we could make Emacs as a system more approachable, more friendly, especially to newcomers. VS Code is better than Emacs is a catchy title. I love catchy titles, and I think most of us deep inside have a tendency to prefer the catchy titles to the boring ones. But there is an alternative, slightly less catchy title for this talk that would be How I Fell in Love with Emacs Doom. I've been using Vim for more than two decades. I always wanted to learn Emacs, but I didn't know where to start and how to get into that community. It was a bit overwhelming. At some point I decided I really want to draw from both of those ancient sources of power, Vim and Emacs, and I started to look for a convenient way to get into Emacs. On one hand, I wanted to keep my productivity levels on my daily tasks. At the same time, I wanted to be able to explore this rich, beautiful Emacs ecosystem. So I was looking for this convenient way to get into Emacs, and I stumbled on this fantastic project called Emacs Doom, created and ferociously curated by Henrik Lissner. It immediately clicked because Emacs Doom is this all-in-one configuration for Emacs. It groups together different popular and less popular packages. You can use them from the day one. Emacs Doom also helps with the decision fatigue. Emacs has a wonderful rich history. There's a vast amount of packages out there. Sometimes, especially when someone is starting with Emacs, it's difficult to know which packages should be installed, how they relate one to another. It's an additional obstacle to get into Emacs. With projects such as Emacs Doom or Spacemax or similar, this allows newcomers such as me to easily start with Emacs. On top of that, Emacs Doom provides those conventions and those opinions about certain things, so I don't have to worry about this. It allows me to be productive at the same time enjoy working with Emacs. It's not only about grouping different packages, but it's about showing how we can use those packages together, how combine different things and what's the idiomatic or convenient way to use different things uh, together. So in two words, Emacs Doom could be uh, summarized as a starter pack, which provides this fantastic onboarding experience. You can defer your learning process and you can be productive from the day one. It also makes Emacs slightly more smooth around the edges. There are many small things which may be difficult to understand for newcomers, from the naming, through how the things are supposed to work, and Doom tries to standardize that, unify that experience. So it's just easier to get started with Emacs. Once I get into Doom, I've been enjoying it so much, so I decided to share my learning uh, through videos on YouTube, Doomcasts. So this way I wanted to contribute back to the community and help others even quicker get into Doom and get into Emacs. By sharing what I learned, by learning in public, so to speak, I also learned about the struggles of newcomers. There was this one particular topic coming up, which was in VS Code, this is easier, this is better, this is more convenient. And I started thinking about this and started to identify what are the top things that we could steal from VS Code so that we could improve Emacs even further through projects such as Doom or Spacemax. This talk is titled VS Code is better than Emacs. So let's unpack this. A definition of better would be of superior quality, but then quality is this essential or distinctive characteristic, which leads us to this notion of being subjective, because we all have different priorities and different things are important to us. Something may be better for some and not for others. There is this peculiar thing about Emacs community. It's one of the most friendliest communities I ever met, but at the same time I had this impression that there is a lot of people who know a lot and there is a lot of people who don't know a lot. The middle class, so to speak, is not existent or maybe not visible. And on top of that, Emacs is more than just 
an editor and this is a, a truism of course some people use it even as an operating system but there is this one thing which hinders Emacs development which is the convenience aspect or the approachability aspect there seems to be this relation between convenience and popularity and this leads us to VS Code when I was recording those videos and people were responding through comments or via private messages everybody was comparing Doom and, and Emacs to VS Code and I started to think well let's look at this and let's see what we can take from VS Code what we can steal from them to make Emacs better and there is this one crucial thing in VS Code. VS Code is all about convenience. In VS Code things work out of the box. People don't have to deal with the configuration, they don't have to learn too much about plugins or packages. They can just focus on the task at hand which is usually different than learning the editor and the inside out and the package system. The same thing that draws people to VS Code was the same thing that allowed me to finally learn Emacs, which is this all-in-one experience. Emacs doesn't really provide that. Doom provided that for me. And I think Spacemax uh, provides that for other people. And this is something which is lacking in Emacs. At the same time, this is something which could be easily fixed, something which could easily boost the popularity of Emacs. By creating Emacs Doom, Henrik Listener showed us a beautiful way of doing that. And I think we can explore it even further because it's not only about grouping packages together, but more often it's about showing how to combine things together. What I learned through the videos I recorded is that people often struggle with seeing things across different packages, across different things. There are so many interesting and, and fantastic packages in Emacs, but more often than not, by combining them with other things we currently have in our workflow, something doesn't really work and this pushes people away. So if we could emulate how they do things with VS Code that the things just work out of the box together, you have this unified experience, I think we could easily gain much more popularity. The second point I noticed when interacting with my viewers is that there is this need for visual documentation. It's about seeing how others do things. Emacs is more focused on this traditional way of providing help through written documentation. The visual documentation could be a great addition to that. By visual documentation I mean videos which shows how people do things or even GIFs which are pretty popular in VS Code like short snippets or some clever tricks that could be shared on social media or elsewhere. And even this, those types of articles which are more about images than text. Seeing is more attractive. It helps people to understand things uh, quicker, I believe. And the third thing I noticed is this a lack of, of common practices. There is a lot of questions that repeat. There are no clear answers. It seems that everyone has a preferred way of doing certain things, but when it comes to things that are pretty important for resolving a task at hand, it's sometimes difficult to find an answer for the most common or, or basic tasks. And one example would be search and replace. So in VS Code, it's pretty easy. You can search and then you can exclude certain files and then you can replace things. In Emacs, it's not that straightforward and it depends which packages you have installed. I was thinking that a repository of common practices would help very well showing how to resolve the most basic and most repetitive questions. When I was thinking about the advantages of VS Code and about the convenience it provides, all those things are to some extent low-hanging fruits. We could easily resolve them. It's more about combined effort than about resolving some complicated things. Because in the end, even if you focus just on the history, Emacs has much more to offer than VS Code. But this knowledge, this rich, beautiful ecosystem is somehow hidden. It seems almost as it's there, but it's difficult to, to get in. I think this could be easily solved. The future is bright for Emacs. Thank you. May the Emacs Force be with you.